Yeah, absolutely. Very dangerous side, especially at home. Um, you know, they've got a lot of shot makers in their top order and, and obviously some very good spin bowlers. So uh, we're very aware that uh, they're likely to come out uh, very determined to put on a better show than they did against the West Indies. That makes them even more dangerous. Uh, and obviously it's a must-win game for Bangladesh. So, you know, they're going to be 100% committed to the game and it's make, we've got to make sure we're better than them on the day. Well, you're right, we've been very inconsistent in this tournament so far. We've played two very good games against India and South Africa, two less good ones against uh, Ireland and Holland. Uh, we really want to uh, firstly make sure we qualify for the quarterfinals, which means we have to win this game. And secondly, we want to get some consistency into our cricket. So we, we've got this game and the West Indies game in order to do that. Um, and it's important that we do do that and play good, solid cricket with both bats and ball. Kevin's been managing this injury for quite a long time. Um, you're right, I mean, the medical staff said that um, it was a pain management uh, issue and that the injury wasn't going to get worse. But, you know, Kevin desperately wanted to play in this World Cup. There's, you know, it's a great stage for him. It's the sort of thing that floats his boat. So, you know, if the pain was so bad that he didn't feel he was able to do that, then it's a very simple uh, conclusion to draw, which is that you've got to make the change. And that's the situation we found ourselves in um, it's obviously hard to, to lose a player of that quality, but um, you know I, I don't think it was a case of him. He, he could have been stronger or anything like that. I think the pain just got too much. It was affecting him too much in the field, and he didn't feel that he could. Uh, you know, he was close enough to 100% to be able to um, play international cricket. We've had to deal with this over the, over the winter beforehand. Um, you know, we're very fortunate we got two ready-made replacements there in. in uh, Owen Morgan, whose fingers just recovered in time, th thankfully, and Chris Tremlett, who bowls very similarly to, to Stuart Broad and has been with us and is used to the conditions. So, you know, uh, it could have been worse, I suppose, in some ways. Um, but those guys need to come in and hit the ground running. That's important uh, if, they, if they do get again.